Lawrence here and today we are making another Dragon Adventures video. In today's video, I guess we're going to chat with each other. <laughs> don't 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 be intimidated. Um anyways, so what I wanted to kind of check up on was so I, I know that I'm in the Halloween map. I don't think we're going to spend most of the video here because I actually kind of want to go back and go to the lobby and kind of check out and see if there are any of the base decorations we can maybe create also i've been trying to check the shop for more mutation potions and i am literally having the worst luck <laughs> i should have just bought them all that same day but you know i kind of forgot and did not do that and now i'm here with the three mutt dragon which i honestly uh, don't usually find three mutt dragons or four it's kind of weird to just have four mutations and then like leave it there purposely <laughs> like you're just one away from getting it to be a full mutt dragon so i don't know if you have a four mutt dragon you know keep doing you i just don't know why <laughs> i mean maybe you could tell me why why do you do that <laughs> is it just fun to be like hey i got a dragon with four mutations and then your friends are like but that could be a full mutt you're just like nah <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't do that. I like it how it is. Look at me. I'm at 200 candy corn. This is so epic. Gotta go find one more house. Hey, run quickly. Go quickly. Moving faster. Um, all right. So, boop, boop. cool. So we're at 200 and 11 let's see this dragon has a cone on it that is kind of sad <laughs> but i don't think that cone is honestly going to prevent anything i <laughs> mean that is a pretty big dragon with a pretty tiny cone I'm, j I'm just saying anyways let us go to the lobby and we can continue there all right so before i start getting into base talk you know i just want to let it be known that today was like the first day i had somebody who did not know who i was say that they like my base that was an accomplishment today because <laughs> i know i've talked about my base before and i've talked about how no one says anything about it but i put so much work into it and it looks so crazy and just <laughs> and then no one says anything so it kind of like oh <laughs> but i finally had someone say something and it kind of boosted up my confidence so yeah um so since the halloween event is still basically going on we can still get the decorations as you can see um still probably let me check just i'm gonna check first before i say that <laughs> i was gonna say there's nothing new doesn't look like there is but as we all know from the last video i made on this with the legendary pupils oh wait what hold on wait i'm confused <laughs> okay 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 so what happened <laughs> okay so what i'm confused about is yesterday i spun the wheel at the halloween map and i got the 35 haunted towers i don't know what to say <laughs> unless i didn't get 35 of them which obviously not because i only have one here but I, I i don't know <laughs> i'm confused oh man i thought i would have more hold on is it is it something with i have too much stuff i wouldn't think that's it yeah it's definitely not it because i just bought more candles <laughs> uh let's quickly go put these candles somewhere maybe oh oh geez put them up here in the sky actually okay let me buy a few of these so then i can do my idea i had earlier where i just kind of have the candles lighting up my little walkway here because i was gonna do that with stars before and then i realized that i probably shouldn't do that so i didn't do that and now i'm here with these candles hold on let's see and then let's get one more to kind of just fit in there as well i know a lot of videos have been about my base i feel like the base so is probably my favorite part about this game i mean <laughs> i don't know i just 
I'm that type of person that just likes that about games. I know I've mentioned it before, but I really am just that kind of person that in a game, like in a battle game or whatever, my favorite part is if I can like customize the character, like do everything I want to it. If I can do that, that game will automatically be one of my favorites. And then if it has like a house or something I can decorate or anything, that is also one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird and probably should just like the game for being the game, but you know, I just really find interest in decorating it. And as you can see, this is what I've done from all of my creativity. <laughs> so I do really like decorating. I find it really fun. It's one of my favorite parts. And that's why, again, most of my videos kind of just relate to decorating and stuff or customizing and whatnot it's just fun in my opinion and that's why roblox has just roblox in general has become like a favorite of mine because i can customize my own character and just do what i want to do <laughs> so that's why i have this guy there's like honestly if i was not able to decorate my own character i don't know if i still would be into roblox like i am now because i've been playing roblox for four years and again it's mainly just character <laughs> i did so like game examples that i did not follow because i could not really do the things I want to. Minecraft, I do and do not like at the same time. Like, I can play it, but I would not usually play it in my free time, free time, but I'll play it if, like, friends are playing it as well. I'll be like, all right, cool, joining. But I like it because you can be creative. Build a big house, build a bunker, do whatever you want to do. You can also have like characters, but the character does kind of stay in a little limit. But just in my opinion, it's probably the fact that it's all blocks <laughs> that I don't exactly like. But that that is, again, coming from the person playing Roblox, that character looks like a bunch of rectangles. <laughs> Which, true, but I like the accessories for not being a bunch of rectangles. <laughs> like, I have a long nose. And then there's also, oh my goodness, everybody, I have had so many people suggest I play Fortnite. I have played Fortnite, actually. I spent like a few months playing it. I started around, what was it, season four? Season three or four? So yeah, I just didn't like it because I don't like the characters. I don't really like the game idea that much, <laughs> which I apologize if you are one of those people who are crazy about Fortnite because I know there are so many people like that and it is kind of insane but I just honestly really like games like these where I can just express through throwing things out of I don't know out of my hand out of my pocket I just have hand throw it at you <laughs> that's that's basically what this is I buy something and then I'll place it and then boom it's done that's it that's how I have created this place. That is how my creative process works in this place. There's nothing else to it. <laughs> it's just random stuff being thrown around and then bam, something was made. Like, ta-da! <laughs> the entrance now looks a little weirder because there's a giant mushroom kind of sticking out, but you know. I like it. <laughs> well, let's see if we can add this mushroom. I've been wanting these mushrooms for a while. I don't know how I finally got enough to have some of them, but you know, I'm actually quite happy that I have them. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the mushrooms. Mushrooms are kind of cute. Kind of. <laughs> There's so many people that will step and squish on mushrooms, and I feel so sad when they do that because it's like these mushrooms are living and they are they're doing their own thing <laughs> and they're just helping with the like decaying process and bringing the dead things back to the earth where they started and the starting the whole cycle and that was a really cool thing and a cool topic to learn about i am interested in that topic anyways <laughs> besides that we are talking about my base um but yeah so 
also another thing is though because i'm kind of confused with this so i have had a lot of people say that they have a limit on how many base items they can put in their base i'm confused because in my opinion i kind of think i have hit a limit that i should not be going over and i shouldn't have the ability to go over anymore <laughs> i don't know i feel like i have an insane amount of stuff in here but then again i have not like nothing i said you can't do that and i just i'm confused Views because again i've had like friends and stuff say that they have reached a limit to how much stuff they can place but then again i don't really know how much stuff that was when they placed it i don't know i don't know if there's something with like vip that makes it so you can have more stuff but then again that wouldn't really work because i believe that person also had vip so i don't know if that is a true thing or not that there is a limit to how much stuff you can have in your base i'd probably imagine so though because if you had an insane insane amount of stuff on your base the whole game would probably lag because someone could just buy a bunch of apple plants and then place them all over the base and that would be pretty insane <laughs> just saying be crazy and laggy and i think there would be a problem but that just makes me question though what is the limit if there is and how do i reach it and how do i know when i do reach it because that's also something i want to know <laughs> i want to be able to know if there is a limit because i just i don't want to go buying something and then just finding out after i got it or something i can't place it in my base but then again there's the easy solution of just taking out that one thing that you probably didn't like so <laughs> i don't know now i just have two giant cool mushrooms in my house and that's really it but yeah i know this video kind of has gone off topic i mainly just wanted to talk about my base base items dragons because again i am going to try and create this guy to be a full mutt don't pay attention to whatever it's doing it's fine i'm telling you it is fine but also so <laughs> again going to be trying to get another bat i don't know what i don't really have an intention but you know i'm gonna try and do that i'm gonna see what i can do might try to get the legendary pupil that is not going to be a promise or a statement that is just going to be something i'm going to say loosely and if it happens it happens and i'm gonna be like i told you so but if i don't do it you guys can say i told you so <laughs> all right but anyways that is going to be it for this video if you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe to our fly squad and i'll see you guys in the next video bye